Good afternoon. I'm Tanya Arneson, Senior Pastor of Jackson First United Methodist Church, and this is Food for Post for Monday, July the 20th. Um, you will note that uh, during these early weeks in July, I've been sharing with you an extended reflection written by Joyce Rupp Fresh Bre in her book, Fresh Bread. Um, she specifically in July talks about being a letter of Christ. And since uh, writing letters is one of the main ways that we're able to safely stay in contact with one another, I thought this was a wonderful time for us to just linger and savor uh, Joyce Rupp's words. I'm going to end the chapter that I've been reading to you for the last two weeks uh, with these words today. This is a prayer of dedication and then an overarching prayer for the month. Yes to you, Jesus, as you offer me your love, as you letter my life with yourself, as you encourage my transparency, as you ask for my honesty, as you desire my everything, as you speak through all I do, as you continue my transformation, as you challenge my weakness, as you bless my giftedness, as you take who I am into your loving embrace. Yes to you, Jesus. As you catch me up in your arms, as you fire me with your truth, as you seal me with your goodness, as you bless me with the blessing that only your Father can give. And, they, and then she offers this prayer. Jesus, I am drawn to you today, drawn to you as the gentle, loving one, as the generous one, as the welcoming one, as the prayerful one, as the one who is closest to the Father's heart, as the one sealed with the Father's love, as the one knowing deep within your heart that your work was to proclaim the kingdom Jesus, how I want to know you, how I want to take a stand about you in my life, to surrender myself to you, to belong to you, to treasure the belief that I have in you. But my love is weak. My faith is restless and so often taken for granted. Myself gets in the way and so often blocks out. O oh, Lord Jesus, on days when I am especially forgetful, unmindful of you, lead me gently away with you as you led your disciples away with you. Reach out to me, teach me about you, and tell me again how much you love me, who you are what it is you ask of me, that you are all I need. O oh Lord Jesus, I stand before you this day in awe of the treasure that you are, and I bless the gracious Father of all who sent you into our midst. Amen. Beautiful words of comfort and encouragement and assurance of challenge and hope as we consider how each of us can become an honest, transparent, loving mirror of who Jesus is in our lives, a letter of Christ to a hurting world. My friends, I invite you to reflect on these questions in this coming few days. Who is Jesus to you? If someone asked you to speak of your relationship with him, what would you say? And what is it about Jesus that especially draws you to love him? What qualities do you most appreciate? The scripture says you are a letter from Christ. Describe yourself as a letter from the Christ. What is written on the tablet of your living heart? 
My friends, I encourage you to write a letter to someone you love, share the hope of Jesus that is in your heart, share your heart for Jesus with someone you love. I look forward to seeing you again soon. In the meantime, be blessed and be well and know you are beloved. Amen.